What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to our best players per position for all budgets series. I do have a playlist up on this and we'll be adding to it over the next couple of days as well. So we are kicking off with AMFs. We have three or four videos already done in this playlist of left backs and goalkeepers and so on. And we will be continuing to do all the positions. So all of these players are for GP, the standard currency. And also these players are in their registered position. So for the likes of Pedri, who's a CMF that can play AMF, we are just sticking to players that are registered as that specific position so with an amf this is the kind of positions that you're going to want to be picking up you know linking between your attack and defense and you are going to be looking at player skills as well i like to look at one touch pass and true passing as well as weighted pass they're their player skills that you need for a kind of a whole player or a creative playmaker or somebody that's just going to be that classic uh, number 10 right so we have a couple of play styles here you have your whole player you have your classic number 10 um we're going to probably stick to whole players and creative playmakers because i think that their ai is probably the best for how i like to play and how i recommend you know if you are new to the game you can't really go wrong with a whole player or a creative playmaker because you will get a lot of chances uh, with the AI when you're not controlling in terms of runs and stuff. So we are going to be starting off with Pellegrini, the AS Roma man. All of these players, when well, most of these players have unwavering form and they do have a selection of player skills that we have already spoken about. One touch pass, true pass and weighted pass, no look pass, low lofted pass. This guy is eight on the list, but it doesn't mean that he's number eight on the list, if that makes sense. There is no real um, kind of like, you know, no, top eight here it's just more eight guys that i recommend for all different budgets this guy is up at the upper echelon of the budgets he is 110,000 gp as you can see there but he is a monster man he is a monster we've got a couple of points put in to dribbling and, and dexterity his speed is a slight issue if you are kind of a running gun player and there are better versions of him if you had the italian pack or the ace roma club pack but this standard version is pretty beastly we've also got brahim diaz a lot of people recommending that i check this guy out i actually have had a player of you started on this guy way back in eFootball 2022. Um, his rating and his live update rating with his form is an issue, um, but he does have really good player skills as well. He has one touch pass, true pass, and he doesn't have weighted pass, which is a slight concern, but for the price that you're going to be paying for him under 50,000, I mean, he's only 29k. GP is nothing. You can get that in like a couple of matches uh, against the AI. Um, when you clear the events and stuff he is going to have 91 acceleration so he's more of a running gun player with that fast burst of pace coming in from the a attack and midfielder positions we've also got quintero so this guy is a bit of a bonus pick i have a hidden gem video done on him if i remember i'll pop it into the description below because it goes into really how good these creative playmaker amfs can be right quintero is one of those hidden gem kind of players um Excellent stats, unwavering form, excellent ability, excellent player skills, pretty much everything that you could want. And he's super, super cheap as well. I think he's about 22,000 GP or in around that. He can play a variety of positions. And this is what you're looking for if you are starting off on the game. If you have a little bit more money to spend, Golovin is an absolute monster as well, a creative playmaker. And again, lads, we keep going back to it. Look at the player skills, right? We throw in a couple of dribbling player skills with Golovin here. You've got double touch, chop turn, and cut behind. You've also all already got the one touch pass, way to pass, but you've got outside curler and long range curler, which means you'll be able to shoot shots with him, even though he doesn't have the best finishing or curl. We are going to upgrade it a little bit here to get that lofted pass and low pass up a good bit, the dribbling up a good bit, the acceleration and balance up a good bit. And also we are going to have a few into curl as well that with the player skills combination here with the stats and the player skills and the positions that this guy takes up with his unwavering form, he's always going to be, you know, ready to go. Uh, we've also got Odegaard. This is a guy that obviously is flying it in the Premier League at the moment with Arsenal. If you are an Arsenal fan, you will probably have already tried Odegaard uh, because there's been a load of different player of the week versions than him. But of him, I should say. But he does have true pass and no-look pass. He does not have one-touch pass. That is why he's a, probably a little bit lower on my recommendations. He should probably have one-touch pass. He does have no-look. But his stats are really, really nice as well. Uh, you're you're going to have to boost up. Because he doesn't have one-touch pass, you are going to have to boost up his low pass a little bit higher than you would have to with a player that does have low pass or first-time pass. Sorry, lads. Uh, first touch pass because obviously you'll need to overcompensate a little Zelensky this is the cover guy in the thumbnail and what a player he is I have used him quite a bit on my other Xbox profile 
Um, I, I must start actually recording a couple of games on that, but it is downstairs and I don't have any of my capture gear uh, with the Xbox downstairs. But this guy turns into a monster. We'll see his train in here. And he is one of the, the last guys that we're going to feature here. But you can just see that he's got everything that you could possibly want. The true passing is there. We've got the team play style up to 90. And we're still not going to have to uh, neglect anything else. We can still boost up everything else. Slight concern with him is probably the fact that his um, offensive awareness mightn't be as good as the likes of Ritz here, who we see here. Uh, as a whole player and Vritz is somebody that I have done a review on as well as an alternative to Messi he is insane I've played with him quite a bit him and Simmons are very very alike if you have the Simmons contract guy the nomination uh, contract for Simmons pretty much very similar players I think that Vritz is kind of slightly slower based even though he's got 88 acceleration he's a slightly more methodical passer of the ball with that 85 low pass and the tight possession and dribbling are insane and he is usually on good form as well because he does be flying it in the Bundesliga. So yeah, it's an interesting one. It's an interesting choice. He is only 96,000 GP, which is pittance. And last but not least, we've got kind of Sergio Canales, who's kind of a workhorse, right? He is very, very attack-based, but he's very good defensively as well. Even though he had, doesn't have good defensive stats, the fact that he can play right wing, right mid, CMF or AMF, I like that with a player. It's kind of a utility player. And he's kind of a throwback to a classic hidden gem Pez my club type of player right he has got every stat that you could possibly want he's got all the player skills that you could possibly want and he's only 82,000 GP he's a lefty as well as a left footer which means that you are going to have that in your arsenal as well because a lot of the players I think are better with the left footed curl shots you're not going to be shooting a massive amount with this guy but he does have long ranger as well as a couple of dribbling stats and player skills that really upgrade this card very nicely. So for under 100,000, there is a lot of options there. So that is it, lads, for another episode in this series. Check out the other videos. We will be back. Let me know what position you want me to feature next, and we'll get right on it. I have a couple of lined up, and I'll be back in a bit. Peace.